go out there that maybe are new to my class, my name is Mike Murdoch. So I teach at Power Yoga Canada Etobicoke, at Toronto West, and at City Centre. And um, I teach 11 classes a week whenever the studios are in, up and running as usual. We're so lucky that Power Yoga Canada has been um, providing all of these free online classes with, um, with the live feed. And the lab is coming with lots more amazing stuff soon. So um, start in child's pose, please. We'll do about a 55-minute flow so we can fit in um, some shavasana and a rest at the end. But we will start by moving our bodies right. And again, listen to your body. This practice is for all levels, for all bodies. You just have to be listening to your own body and giving it whatever it needs. Yeah, rest when you need to. And really, um, especially when you're at home, um, without a teacher, without the community around you, just challenging yourself, being accountable to working as hard as you can. Yeah, and again, like a challenging yourself as hard as you can. So we'll take child's pose if you're not already there. Knees wide, toes touching. Settle back onto your heels. And start to find your ujjayi breath here. So long inhales, long exhales through your nose. Breathe in, breathe out. Let yourself settle back. Sit back and then really start to find that connection with your mat here. Press the tops of the feet down, stretch out the ankles. Booty on the bandha, wave that up, pull your belly in, and then let yourself sit even uh, deeper into your heels. Big breath in. Press your fingers, your knuckles into the mat. Sit even deeper. Two more breaths together. Inhale. And exhale. Big breath in. Big breath out. And come up to tabletop. Downward facing dog. I do have a Roddy here with me, Mr. B, Mauser. Some of you might know him. He's a little cray cray. If you see a beast running through the screen, you know what's going on. Breathe in. And then connection again. Foundation here. So your fingers, your toes, press them down. Inner ankles draw back, outer ankles press towards the floor. So you're really building that intentional foundation. You can soften the elbows and knees. Figuring out how your body's feeling in this first down dog, kind of getting clear on that, working with it. Three-legged dog, lift your right foot up, bend your knee, stack open the hips. Really lift the right hip nice and high, draw the right heel down towards your left glute. Breathe in. Press the floor away with both hands. Big inhale, big exhale, and switch sides. Look up, up, three dog. Mr. B, come here. Come on. There's a dog in our neighbor's yard. Hi, buddy. Go to your bed. Go on. Go lie down. Nice. Good. Lie down. Lift your right knee. Sorry, left knee higher. Lift it up. And then step forward. Ragdoll. So your feet are hip distance apart. Now grab your elbows or your biceps and then just let the upper body dangle down. And let go of your head. You don't have to hold it up here. Finding that balanced action in your practice will work Don't rest if you need it, right? It's that balance of strength and softness in your body. The right amount of work, the right amount of rest. Totally individual to each yogi out there. Just in that listening. Together, breathe in. Go in a bit deeper. Take your fingertips down to the mat, your big toes to touch. Come up to a flat back. Hold. Extended mountain, press your feet, reach your fingertips to the ceiling. Samastiti, hands to heart center. And we'll start with one ohm together. Gaze to your fingers, take a big breath in. Sweep your arms up. Extended mountain pose. Lengthen the body. Fold forward. Chest to thighs. Halfway lift. Shoulders integrate. Step back to high plank. Pause here. Take a breath in. Shift forward. Low plank. Lower down halfway. Yeah. 
triceps parallel to the floor, upward facing dog, lift forward, chest through your arms, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, root down into your hands and feet. Belly button pulls in, tailbone presses straight back. Inhale, exhale, fuller breath. More connection, press down, and then come up onto your toes, bend your knees, pause here, upper step between your hands, flat back, lengthen your spine, fold, extended mountain, reach to the ceiling, press down into your feet, fold forward, hug into your legs, halfway lift, Chaturanga Dandasana, step or hop back, upward facing dog, lift your thighs up, Downward facing dog, hips go back. Take a breath in, breath out. Muscles, bone to bones, your bandhas locked, your foundation, really intentional. Open your eyes too. Make sure drishti is out here, your focus, your attention. Intentional, breathe in, bend your knees, empty your lungs. Proper step to the top of your mat, flat back, fold, extended mountain, reach up, lengthen the upper body, fold forward, chest to your thighs, hug in to your legs, halfway lift, chaturanga dandasana, hands down, step back, lower down, upward facing dog, lift up, downward facing dog, hips back, breathe in. Breathe out, press down, pull muscles to bones, drishti, eyes focused, building tapas now, heats, starting to feel that generate in your body, lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, pause, look between your hands, hop there, flat back, fold, Extended mountain, reach up, find a little back bend, belly strong, fold, hug into your legs, halfway lift, chaturanga dandasana, step or shoot back, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, take a breath in, take a breath out, lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, look forward, hop or step, on the inhale right away, lengthen, Fold, Utkatasana, chair pose, and stay. Find neutral pelvis here, yeah? So your tailbone's not sticking way out behind you. You want to scoop down, find some work in the legs and core. Five breaths. Tapas, yeah? Really building that heat through your breath, through your muscle engagement. Three more together. Inhale, chest lifts. Sink your tailbone down. Every finger, wake them up. Sit even deeper in your seat. Take one more breath. Lengthen the upper body and then fold it over your legs. Halfway lift. Lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasana. Vinyasana. Stay in the flow. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right side warrior one. Step your right foot forward. Reach your arms up. Breathe in. Descend deeper in the front knee. Yeah, more lunge there. Check that it's true north in the hips, yeah? So not letting the right hip come too far forward. Square them, right hip back. Front knee sinks deeper. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Reach up with your chest, with your fingertips. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow. Together with breath. Inhale up. And exhale back. Left side. Step your foot forward. Press down and reach up. Inhale, left hip back. It's a subtle shift. Yeah, you just want to keep that squared hips facing forward. Breathe in. Lunge deeper. Really firm up the legs, firm up the core. Reach up, reach back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow. Breathe out. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take five breaths. Just want to see who else maybe is here with us. Yes. Welcome, guys. So Stay here, breathe in, breathing out. Pauline, Susan, Deanna, 
Yeah, it's amazing. So good, ladies. So, so good. Breathe. Right here. Come up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Pause. And then hop or step forward. Right away. Lengthen the spine. And fold. Utkatasana. As deep as you can sit. Nice and low. Uttanasana. Hug chest to thighs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Step or shoot back. Upward facing dog. Lift yourself up. Downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. From your feet, press and then lengthen through the upper body. Chaturanga Dandasana. Move. You can float your right toes. Try that. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side. Foundation. Feet. Core. Fingers. Wake the body up. Chaturanga Dandasana, flowing with your breath. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Up box, building heat. Invite it in. Cultivate it. Don't avoid it. Inhale. Exhale. Lift up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Hop for step forward. Right away, flat back. Fold. Chair. Fold. Lengthen the spine. Chaturanga Dandasana. Lower down. Upward facing dog. Pull your chest through your arms. Downward facing dog. Right side. Inhale. Find length. Little back bend. Reach. Chaturanga Dandasana. Float your right toes if that's there for you. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, left side, press, reach, chaturanga dandasana, moving with breath, find the vinyasa, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, breathe in, and breathe out, soften your joints, make sure the elbows and knees aren't rigid, steady gaze, being intentional, Big breath in, big breath out, lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, hop for step, flat back, fold, chair, and fold, lengthen, belly strong, chaturanga dandasana, keep Uddiyana Bandha locked in place, upward facing dog, lift, downward facing dog, hips back. Right side, feet to fingers, full expression. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow with your breath. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Left side, fullest expression from every finger. Chaturanga Dandasana, left toes can hover on the way. Up dog, downward facing dog. Big breath in, open your mouth, sigh it out. Ha. Feet together at the back of your mat. Lift your right foot up to the ceiling, bend your knee, stack your hips, flip your dog. Breathe in, lift your hips up. Find that reach through the front fingertips. Press the heels down, start to lift higher in your hips. Your calf muscles push back towards your shoulders. Take a breath in, take a breath out. One more lift and reach, high plank, side plank. So lift up. Lift up your left foot, if that's there for you, take it high. Option for the bottom knee to come down, of course, right? Any modification that your body needs, take it. From your bottom hand, find that space across the body. A big reach up through the top fingers, stacked joints. Breathe in. Any variation right here. A couple more. Find fullest expression. You push down. You pull in, you lift up, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left foot goes up, three-legged dog, into flip dog, lightly. Yeah, find your connection down into your mat. Feet are parallel, so the toes aren't pointed out, toes aren't pointed out, lift up through the hips though, yeah? Feet parallel, toes point to the back of the mat. Press your feet. Reach your fingertips. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more reach. High plank. Into side plank. 
the right arm will go up. Again, option for a knee to be down. Take the modification if you need it. Move into your fullest expression, whatever it is. Just being playful and curious, right? Check it out. Where can you go right here? Nobody watching but you. Take a big breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Big inhale, full exhale. Crescent lunge on the right side, step through. Lift up your back heel. Keep that active back leg, yeah? So the back kneecap up, back heel forward. Sink into the front knee. Hands to heart center and twist. Keep that front knee over the ankle, yeah? Don't let it come too far in front. You want it over top in line. Shoulders not rolling forward, but drawing back, integration. Breathe in. Twist the upper body deeper. Core is strong. Stabilize the twist. One more in and out. Warrior two. Sink into it. Find a nice deep lunge. Again, the knee tracking over the ankle, not sinking in. Not opening up, centered. Soften the shoulders. Breathe. Drishti at one spot. Inhale. See if you can go any deeper. In. Squeeze the inner thigh muscles to the bones. Again. Breathe. Feel the heat. Don't run from it. Inhale. Exhale, last one, hold it. Stay in your lunge, extended side angle. Left arm goes up. Yeah, and keep the lunge here. The tendency might be to soften that front knee, sink into it, yeah? As deep as you can. Option for half binds. Left hand comes to your low back, full bind. The right fingers reach underneath the right thigh. Bring your fingers behind your back. If you get the bind, try not to be, um, Closing off to the floor, crunching up. You want to drop back that top shoulder, like opening the chest, twisting the bottom ribs up. Breathe in, breathe out. Fullest inhale here. Chaturanga Dandasana. Plant your hands, lower down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side, crescent lunge. Step forward. Lift the back heel right away. If you fall out, you just set it up again, right? Take the back heel high. Reach up your arms. Breathe in. Firm up your legs. Inhale. Hands to heart center. Take that lengthening through the spine and then twist. Shoulder integration. Uddiyana Bandha. Lift and activation through the back leg. Two more. Inhale. Twist it deeper. Core. Squeeze and twist. Warrior two. Open up. Find your deepest lunge. Shoulders roll down the back. Leg muscles pull into the bones. Breathe in. Breathe out. Reach your fingers. Soften into it even deeper. Three more. Three generous breaths. Don't rush. Breathe in, breathe out, extended side angle. Option, of course, for a block, yeah? If you don't have a block at home, anything will work. A book, a soup can, a water bottle, whatever you have. Reach up the top fingers. Just maybe bringing the floor closer to you can help a little bit. If you're going for that bind, right hand on the sacrum, center of the low back. Half bind, full bind. You take that bottom arm underneath. Find your fingers behind your back. Twisting here, the right shoulder draws onto your back. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep your legs strong. Squeeze through the inner thighs. Deep in your upper body's twist. Take one more inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Come up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Proper step to the top of your mat. Flat back. And fold, fingers to toes, forward fold. Do that, take your feet hip distance. Shake your head at yes and no. 
just rest here for a moment, yeah? Feel your heartbeat. Oh, I feel mine. If you need water, you take it. If you need rest, you take it, right? But just not using it as a way to check out. Really putting attention, putting importance on rest here, on restoration. Make sure Insta's working still. Yes, amazing. Uh, Jax, Tamara, Sophie, so good. Take a couple more breaths. If you can soften any more into the fold, do that. Yeah, where is there muscles that are working that don't need to? There are thoughts that you can let go of that might be distracting. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring your feet back into true north, so your big toes are touching. The outer edges of the feet parallel to your mat. Yeah, sit into chair, Utkatasana. Shin bones back a little bit, sit deeper. Hands to heart center, twist to the right. Hook the left elbow on the right knee. Keep that seat nice and deep here. Option, of course, if you have um, mobility issues, you want to bring the right hand on the low back, left hand to the outer right thigh. That's just another access to this twist. Elbow, you can take a side crow if that's in your practice, go for that. We'll do three more breaths in and out. Squeeze your core, find your deepest, fullest expression. One more breath in and release, come to center, Utkatasana. Twist right to the other side, yeah, stay in that tapas. Keep the heat in the legs, keep the heat in the core. Any variation that you're going into on this side, whatever that is. Find it, and then keep moving with it, right? Vinyasa is flow, it's not stagnant, just opportunity for something else in every breath. Three more, in and out. Side crow your option, play with whatever fits in your practice, take one more big breath in and out, and release. Gorilla, palms under your feet. Let the upper body go. And really shake the head of yes and no. Just make sure you're not holding tension in the neck. You don't have to hold tension in any part of your body. Sit in those muscles that are keeping you standing up. Just let the head shake out yes and no. Breathe in. And breathe out. Press the tops of your hands into your mat and then just start to shift forward a little bit, yeah? So the hips forward, like it's millimeters maybe is all you need just to get that action more in the legs, tailbone lifting up. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Do crow. Palms on the mat. Knees on the triceps. Option for the block, yeah? If you're newer to crow, if you're still struggling to get your toes off the ground, if you take the block as a perch or like a dictionary or a thesaurus, whatever you got there, something thick, take your knees to your triceps. You're essentially in the form of the pose here, right? You can take the little perch, you can take the bend in the elbows, keeping the right alignment, yeah, with the knees actually on the triceps, trying to avoid them squeezing from the outside, putting strain on the joints. Five more breaths in crow. Any variation, find lift in the tailbone, find support, activation from Uriana Banda. Three more breaths, in and out. Press down, pull in, lift your tailbone up. Chaturanga Dandasana, shoot back. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees, step to the top of your mat. Right away, flat back. Fold. Sweep all the way up. Take eagle on your right side. Right arm under, right leg over. Sit down into it. Breathe in. Elbows lift up nice and high. Sit deeper. Stay. One more. Switch sides, eagle. Left arm under. Left leg over, sink down, breathe in, breathe out. Steady gaze, find one spot to focus on. Inhale, exhale, 
keep up. Right side, eagle pose, sink down, keep that connection, the center line, your biceps, your inner thighs, your core muscles all pulling in. Sit deeper, breathe in. Sleeping eagle, hinge forward, come down elbows to knees. Breathe in and out here. Keep that squeeze. Standing eagle, come up. With control, back up. Lift your right knee up to your chest. Grab your right knee with your right hand. Single standing leg raise, open up to the side. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift up the crown of the head. Scoop in Uriana Banda, support it. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, big inhale here. Bring your foot back to center. Arms reach up, biceps by your ears. Yeah, take the right heel forward. Leg is strong and straight. Breathe in, lift your toes. Airplane, fly back. Bottom foot at 12 o'clock, yeah? So get that foot so that it's lined up with the edge of your mat. Kick back through your heel. Turn your right pinky toe down, yeah? So you want the back foot facing down towards the floor, not pointing out to the right side of your room. Breathe in, breathe out. If you have stability issues, you just keep beginning again. Reset as often as you need. Breathe in here, hands to heart center, half moon. Option for a block if you need. Yeah, take the block under your fingers. Just bring in the floor a bit closer. Lift up your right hand, lift up your right leg. Find your fullest expression. If chalpasana is in your practice, that's sugar cane reaching for the top foot. Kick back into your hands. Maybe playing with hovering the fingers wherever you are. And if you fall out, you just start over, right? Set it up. Two more breaths. In and out. Biggest, fullest possible expression right here. And release. Both feet together. Halfway lift. Fold forward. Sweep up. On the left side. Left arm under. Left leg over. Eagle pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again. Sink into it. Lift the elbows up. Sleeping eagle, hinge forward. Breathe in and out. That hug in arms, legs, core. Breathe back up to standing eagle on the inhale. Exhale. Lift your left knee up. Open up standing leg raise. Keep the foot flexed and active. Yeah, keep the core engaged, Uriana Banda locked in, muscles to bones, open more, exhale back to center, arms up, toes up, take that leg nice and long, breathe in, airplane, fly back, set up the bottom foot, it has a tendency to kind of come off center sometimes through the flow there, just take it back to 12 o'clock, lift the back heel, lift the collarbones, and then turn down your your pinky toe towards the floor. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Press and lift. Hands to your heart center. Half moon. Right? Variation here. Whatever you have, use a block. Find fullest expression. Option for chalpasana. You bend that top leg. Reach for the ankle. Sugar cane. Wherever you are playing with hovering the fingers, just finding center of gravity, right? Your counterbalance from that back leg. Three breaths in, out, lift, squeeze, take one more breath, and release. Feet together. Halfway lift. Fold forward. Sweep all the way up to the ceiling. Take dancer on your right side, so grabbing the inside of the right foot. You can take dancer from right here. This can be dancer, right? As much lift as you've got. Don't throw yourself off balance unless you're doing it intentionally, safely, right? Like getting to that challenging place where there's a little wobble. It's not bad if you invite it in. Every inhale, every exhale, it's expansion, it's possibility. Wherever you can take the pose, just be playful in it. Take another breath to lift yourself up. And then switch on the left side. Dancer. Set it up. Any variation. Just finding expansion. Expansion is what you make it mean. And your body 
finding lift, finding openness, just creating space in the pose. Space for something different than you've done before. Take a breath in, lift up, and release. Take dancer on the right side. Again, do it. Same side you just did, make it different. Yeah, what can you do differently on this side? Different expression, different focus, different internal dialogue, like just a shift for it to be something new. Breathe in, breathe out, kick back, lift higher, and switch. On the left side, dancer. Breath, gaze, bandhas. Breath, firing up the pose, find fullest, possible expression, take a breath in and lift up, and release. Tree on the right side. Set up your legs so you can have, um, if I come closer, it cuts my head off right here, so we don't want to be there. Um, Kickstand can be with your toes on the ground, very supportive. If you need that support from your legs and your calf, great, and your thigh, amazing. Please do not press the side of your knee, right? Not nice for the joint. So keep it above or below, and then grow. Any expression from hands apart center. Where do you want to take your tree? Express up and out. Press into the bottom foot. Lift up into your chest. Pull in the pit of your belly. Take another breath and release. Switch sides. Tree on the left. Legs, core, hands. Breathe. Reach. One more breath in and release. Take your arms up to the ceiling, lengthen and pull. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Reach up. Open, warrior two. Trikonasana, straighten out the front leg. Come down, so you reach the right fingertips as far forward as you can, and then bring them down to the outside of your front foot. So preferably not grabbing your shin bone, yeah? You wanna um, find something to connect to the floor. A block is great here. If you only have your front leg, if you're on the front leg, just press the palm into the front of the shin. It's different than grabbing for dear life, right? So grounding through the palm, lengthening up to your top arm. Breathe in. Draw the top shoulder back. Keep that twist in the upper body. Yeah, the bottom ribs twisting up. Left shoulder draws down the back. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Pull yourself up to stand. Wide leg fold. Toes turn. In, so your feet are parallel to the edges of the mat, and then hands on the hips, lead with your chest as you come down. Any variation that you want to take in the fold, so you can have hands on the floor, ankles, walk them back between your legs. If you practice headstand, option to do a headstand safely at home. Wherever you're going, just breathe into it, yeah? If you're in that fold, soften your knees and shift your hips towards your toes. Keep that work in the legs. Press into your feet. If you're upside down, keep core engaged. Keep lifting up through your heels, ribs to hips. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last big breath in. And release. If you're upside down, come down. Move into pyramid pose. Your toes forward. Step the back foot in just enough to get the heel on the ground. Yeah? So you don't want to be too far back with the heel lifted. You lose the stretch. If you're too close, then it's kind of just a forward fold. Yeah? So just somewhere... In between there work the legs draw the right hip bone back so keep that squared hips upper body let it go breathe in breathe out if you need your hands up on a block just to bring the floor a bit closer whatever you need trying to facilitate a release here too focus on that breathe in breathe out Halfway lift, twisted triangle, so the left finger is to the right foot. Right hand either on your sacrum, like in the half bind earlier, or you take the right hand up to the ceiling. Now yeah, find that space across the front of the body. Right shoulder back. 
tailbone and the crown of your head drawing away from each other. Take a breath and twist. Chaturanga Dandasana, plant the hands, lower down. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Warrior two, Trikonasana, straighten the legs. Come forward and down. Again, so you're reaching, trying to create that space in the left side of the body. That's what the block can help with as well. Right, so avoiding, you might be able to touch the ground, but if it puts all of this kind of tightness and crunchiness in the left side here, you want to lift up out of it. Find the space to create more twist. Breathe in. Lean back. Inhale. Soften the knees. Make sure they're not locked and rigid. A couple more. Twist. In. Out. Look up. Pull yourself up to stand wide leg fold. Toes in. So your feet are parallel to the top and bottom of your mat. Hands interlace at the low back as you fold. And just let the crown of the head go. Shake it out yes or no. Press the outer edges of the feet down. Drive the tailbone up toward your legs. Breath in. Breath out. One more. Stay for it. Pull yourself all the way up. Pyramid, left side. Turn your toes forward. Step in the back foot. Fold over your leg. Again, a block if you need it. Hands on the ground. Just trying to create a release. Don't try. Do that. Where can you let go of something? Where can you soften? Physically or mentally. It might be a body part. It might be a muscle. It might be a thought. A distraction. A noise around you. Something that takes away. Be aware of it. You can choose to let it go. Press your feet. Come up to a flat back. Take twisted triangle. Right fingers. Left foot. Left hand on the low back, or reaching up. Keep that space in the body for the twist. Breathe in, breathe out, reach, twist deeper. Take one more big breath in, and release, hands down. Step back, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Take a breath out, come forward to high plank, low plank, high plank, yeah, I'm just kidding, come down to your belly, take locust pose, chin to center, set it up, so arms reach back, point the toes, lift yourself up, find the next pose, right, so you just move through the vinyasa, breath by breath, pose by pose, activate it, Express out through your fingers, through your toes. Take a big breath in. Stay up and interlace your hands. Bound locust pose. So the fist presses back, your knuckles to the back of your mat. Collarbones lift higher. Uddiyana Bandha squeezing in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last inhale here and then release. Come all the way down. Sway your hips from side to side. Breathe in. No. Chin to center. Set up for floor bow. If, if you can't get both ankles, half floor bow is an option. So that's going to be taking the right hand out in front of you, like the right forearm at the top of the mat. You grab the inside of the opposite foot, yeah? So half the body in bow and the arm in front of you to support. You're pressing that forearm down to lift up. If you know floor bow, go for it, right? We'll do two. So if you have half floor bow, do one side and you can do the other one. If you're in full expression, kick your shin bones back. Shoulders back, take a big lift up, and then release all the way down. Windshield, take your legs from side to side. Set up. One more. Floor bowl. Grab the outer ankles. Check that your knees aren't splaying out too wide. You want to hug them in as close as you can get them to each other. Kick back. Everything to center line. Core, shoulders. Ankles, knees, take a breath in. Stay for the breath out. One more lift and release all the way down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, step to the top of your mat. Come down into bridge pose. Just need to check the 
time. Amazing. So good. So in bridge, set yourself up, yeah? Press down into your heels. Got a bunch of Romanian yogis out there with us. Amazing. So good. Welcome to Power Yoga Canada, Romania. Happy to have you guys down here with us. Set it up here, yeah? Press the triceps. Press up through the hips. Press down through the heels. Breathe in. Breathe out. Squeeze the glutes, the inner thighs. Take it up higher. And release. Come all the way down. Release from side to side. And set yourself up for bridge or wheel. So the hands by the ears. If you're going into wheel, if you're like learning wheel, you can just press your hands by your ears. This will work those muscles. You can come to half wheel on the crown of the head. And if you've got that mobility, lift yourself all the way up, really connecting the hands and feet to the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take a few breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Press your shin bones back towards your shoulders. One more lift. And release. Come all the way down. Knees from side to side. We'll do two more. Bridge your wheel. Do this. If you just want to stay up for 10 breaths or so, like stay up in your background, whatever fits for you. 10 or 11 more breaths. We go up, in, and out. Stay in your fullest expression of a back bend, whatever that is for you today. If it's not as big as it's been before, who cares, right? Just checking in with your body. What do you have right here, right now? Lift yourself up. Stay for the breath out. One more inhale. You can stay or you can come down. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Lift yourself back up. Your last back bend today. The peak of your practice. What do you have waiting for you in your body? Take three more breaths together. Inhale. Exhale. Fullest possible expression in your body right here. Take one more breath in. Lift up. And release. Come all the way down. Whew. Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together. Knees wide. Spread your right hand on your belly. Spread your left hand on your heart. And just breathe. Close your eyes. You don't need to see anything right now. Just putting more of the internal focus on your body resting. Feel your heartbeat. Be aware of it. Slow it down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Longer breaths. A little gentler. Doesn't need to be as fiery as before. Just be intentional though. Still focus. Still purposeful breathing. In and out. One more big breath. Open your mouth, let it go. Hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze. Make some little circles with the knees. Happy baby. Grab the outsides of the feet, pull down, knees towards armpits. So dead bug, you're in stillness or in happy baby, you're swaying and just letting that massage happen in the low back. Press the tailbone into the floor. Grab the backs of the knees. Flex your feet, start to rock up and down your mat a couple times. Do this, go rock back all the way to plow. Maybe tap your toes with control, then come up to boat and hover, yeah? Use your core muscles here. So all the way back to plow, tap, and then all the way up to Navasana, and you pull, hover. Do three more like that. Plow, to boat. Again, really working core, get engaged. Last one. Lead with the chest, and then hold here in Navasana. Stay, pause. Any variation, yeah, 10 breaths in both, whatever version it is. You can have hands behind knees, 
heels can be down, fingers can be down, right? This is still boat if you've got the mobility for that. Chest lifting, shoulders back. Any variation, grab your knees, straighten your legs, your arms, grab feet, like all the options here, whatever you want to move into, whatever version it is, lift the chest and draw the shoulder blades back, yeah? So keeping that, Whoa. and if you roll out, you just start again. You're almost halfway there. Breathe, squeeze in, chest up, shoulders back, belly strong. Take another five breaths. Inhale, exhale, squeeze in, hold here. Anything you've got, your fullest expression from fingers, from toes. Take another breath in and release. Rock back and forth a couple times. Make your way into downward facing dog and then move into half pigeon on the right side. So your right shin parallel to the top of your mat and settle into it here. If you need a prop under the right hip or bum cheek, yeah, use a block, use a rolled up towel, a water bottle, just something to keep your right hip from dumping down. You want to avoid that, keep it level with the left and breathe. Just let yourself settle in. Present to where your thoughts take you for these last few poses. So the physical work, mostly done now, right? It's more restoration here, more stretch. And just being aware of that. If your thoughts are present to stretch and release, or if your thoughts are taking you somewhere else, and staying focused, intentional with your breathing. Exhale. Stay with your breath. Alex, welcome. Roman, Ula, Holly, what? So good. Sandra, Gail, amazing. So good, guys. Love how connected this community is staying, despite the challenges we might be facing. So much importance in human connection, whether it's in person or if it's just energetically, right? Still being present to the community, still being present to your mat, to your physical body. I think it needs in this time. Sweep the back leg out in front of you, seated single leg extension. So your right foot to your left inner thigh, left foot just off from center, fold over your left leg. Breathe in, breathe out. Long spine, take it deeper, and set up the other side. So left chin is parallel to the top of the mat. You can take a vinyasa or just sweep the legs around, half pigeon on the left. So again, here it's easier to see on this side with just a prop underneath the back of the thigh. It can be perfect, right? It can be a block here, just to give you some support. So what you want to avoid here is the hips dumping, right? So what the tendency can be is kind of just to let that flop onto the floor. You lose a lot of the integrity across this area. You want to bring it back. Hips are square. Back is still free of the core a little bit. Like there's still muscles working to keep you level and keep you stable. Any variation. Just breathe and settle in. Simple, just come back to breath if anything else pops up. Inhale, exhale, a couple more. Deep breaths. Sweep the back leg forward, seated single leg extension on this side. So left foot to the inner right thigh, fold over the right leg. Keep Uliana Banda engaged, just some support there, more space to fold. 
breathe in, breathe out, again, take a deep breath, come up, you're set, seated, forward fold, both legs out in front of you, put your tail out from underneath you here, so tailbone back, sit bones back, femur bones plug in to the hip socket, yeah, and then fold over your legs, breathe in, Breathe out. In front. And back down. Pull yourself a bit deeper. Tuck the chin. Lengthen the neck. One more breath in and out. And come down onto your back. Set up for an inversion. Waterfall. Hips resting up on a block. Right, if you don't have a block waterfall, you can just take the hands underneath the low back. It's just kind of keeping the tailbone propped so your legs aren't trying to fall down towards the ground. Shoulders stand, hands at the low back, you lift all the way up. And if you practice headstand, go for that. Try it on any version. Knee get upside down, hips over heart overhead. Out. And again, wherever you are, breathe into it. Full inhale, full exhale, plow and deaf man's pose if you're in shoulder stance. breath in. Slowly come back down onto your mat. Set yourself up for supine twist. Extend the left leg long. Draw your right knee into your chest. And then take your left hand. Draw the right knee across the body. Keep the right shoulder on the floor. Yeah, it's more important to keep that connected to the earth than to get this knee all the way over. You get here and it lifts you off the ground. Keep the shoulder down. Yeah, so then that stretch for the low back. Stretch in the side body, breathe in, breathe out, again, deep in your twist, come back through center, extend the right leg, get your hips centered again, so bring them back to the middle of your mat, left knee in, and then take the right hand, draw the left knee across the body, keep guiding the stretch through the side body, the low back. Breathe in, breathe out, lengthen, twist as deep as you can, one more breath in, and out, come back to center, take your knees into your chest, give yourself one last squeeze, hug in nice and tight, and release, final shavasana, so lie onto your mat, close your eyes, Allow yourself to land. Acknowledge yourself for getting onto your yoga mat today. Acknowledge your body for all the work that you've given it. And showing some appreciation for yourself, right? For what it takes to actually make that commitment to find yourself that new day. To your body to connect to your yoga practice and to this greater community. I'm so blessed to have this community and you have them too. So that skill of breath, that skill of being able to center yourself, see what's happening right in front of you.
Distracted, it's just an opportunity for you to relax. And always there's a distraction, and then just make the choice to be present to rest. Relaxation. Full breath in together, breathe in. Open your mouth and let it out. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take a full body stretch, get your arms up over your head. Lengthen your body. Roll onto your right side, move into fetal position. Rest your head on your bicep. up to a seated position. Sit up nice and tall. Keep your eyes closed. Hands at some SDD at the center of your heart. Sitting up tall. And the sound of OM is one of connection, one of creation. Just uh, even though we're in separate spaces, connecting this community, connecting our practice with these final few moments. Take a big breath in. Oh. Oh. Thumbs to the center of your forehead. And the love and the light in me acknowledges the love and the light in each and every one of you. I'm so grateful for this community. And together, we bow and we say, Namaste. Thanks, yogis, for joining me. Um, yeah, there's a lot happening on PYC Live. Keep an eye out. Lots of great teachers. Um, getting a spot on there has been challenging for everybody, right? There's so many people that want to teach. So just keep an eye out. I'm sure I'll be teaching again one day. I'm here. Um, check out social media. Lots of stuff going on with me there as well. Thank you for practicing with me today. I'm going to come over and check out the chat in a second, so don't leave too quickly. Um, I think Insta is going to cut us off at an hour pretty soon, but there still should be a couple minutes. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay flowing. Stay healthy. Keep spreading Zen with people. And uh, yeah, just being like light warriors out in the world, you know, keeping everybody calm and trying to stop people. We want to be serious about this, but we also want to stay connected with the community. So 